Hello again. I had promised you that we would keep you updated at every step of the way regarding any issue to deal with education and particularly to deal with the issue of when schools would reopen and how schools would reopen. So I am here to do that again. We are, have taken a decision based on the advice of the Ministry of Health to remain closed for the rest of this school year, the academic year, which ends usually around the end of July, first week, end of June, first week in July. We will therefore remain closed for the month of June, except for those classes that have already returned to the classroom. So for all classes across the country, we are going to remain closed for the remaining days in May and the months of June, July, and August for all of the classes that have been closed, except for those that have already returned to the classroom, which would really be grades 10, 11, and 12, or fourth, fifth, and sixth form. We, let me remind you why we closed schools in the first place. In or around March of 2020, we learned that persons around the world were affected with a virus called COVID-19 and that Guyana was not spared. So a pandemic was on our hands. And at that point, we had no cure. We had no way of uh, preventing spread, community and otherwise, except we um, tried as hard as possible not to engage socially. From then to now, we have, the world has developed a cure to the point where we know if people are vaccinated, they will not die from COVID-19. We have also moved past the place where vaccines were not easily accessible. So let me recap, we closed because of COVID-19 and the fact that we did not have a cure at the time or something that would prevent people from dying and we did not have access at that time to tests and vaccines. Since then, we have been testing sometimes thousands per day in this country and the government has made great effort and invested a lot of resources in acquiring the requisite number of vaccines. And so vaccines are available to anyone in the country who would like to be vaccinated. We expect that people are going to be responsible, although we are not making vaccination mandatory. And if persons are responsible in getting vaccinated and utilizing the only scientific and medically proven way of bending the curve of the COVID-19 disease, that we are going to be able to resume a, relative, a state of relative normalcy. We expect therefore to be able to reopen schools in September of 2021 to every grade level and we will work very hard to make sure that happens. I will of course keep you updated as we go along. We are also aware that the Caribbean Examinations Council is currently examining or re-examining a decision that was made in January of this year that the CXC exams, both CSEC and CAPE, would be sat from June to August or June to July. We have very many options on the table that could possibly change that timeline. You would recall when we fixed the date for the NGSA exams, we fixed that date consciously knowing what dates CXC would set their exams for. And we made sure we felt the, the NGSA was falling outside of that timeline. If CXC changes their date, it could impact significantly on our NGSA. But I want to assure you now that we heard parents and teachers and students when they said that they would be ready for those exams in August. And we are going to fight very hard to try to deliver those exams efficiently and smoothly and in a way that is in our children's best interest mm -hmm. in August. Again, if that changes, I will let you know, but as it stands now, 
I encourage NGSA students, teachers, and parents to prepare as though the exams are going to happen in August. I thank you, and God bless you all.